So I've just realized I don't actually have a video of going through how you actually flash uh, aftermarket tunes, such as a DNK Tuneworks tune, onto a triumph bobber. So I'm gonna go through that now with you. I'm not gonna go through the basics of Tune ECU and how to download it and all that stuff, because that's in another video, and I'll put a link to that video below. It's called, What is Tune ECU, I think, is the name of the video. So go and check that out if you haven't already. And right, I'll show you how to flash an aftermarket map onto the ECU. Right, so you've purchased your map and you've got it downloaded onto your tablet or your phone. And in my case, it's in documents at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that and we're going to move that to when you download Tune ECU, it usually makes its own folder for you. So inside that folder, there'll be a maps folder. And I've made my own folder with my maps in it. And I'm going to put into my maps. So I'll move that there. So now the maps in my maps in the folder. So now when we open Tune ECU, and now we need to get our map that we bought onto Tune ECU. So you hit map, open, and then I'm already in the same directory because I've been using this. And where's our map? New map to flash, there. So if you can't find it here, it, it, it's just a normal like directory like on your tablet. And also you can actually download maps straight off of the Tune ECU website. So if you just hit download, you can get a list of all the standard maps. So you can go into Triumph, you can go into Boba, Boba Black, and there's the original Boba Black map which you can download onto it but we're not doing that we're putting our purchased one on so hit open and i've got it in my maps new map to flash so hit that so now new map to flash which we named it is on tune ecu and if i just hold my finger on the screen there it comes up there the name of it okay so we know we've got the right map so now turn the ignition on hit ecu connect and then you go through all your connection business, which I'm not gonna go into how you work, set up in this video. That's all in another video and you can find that out anyway. So now we're connected because it's flashing green. So I hit ECU, I hit reprogram, and it says warning, reprogramming your bike with this tool may void the warranty issue you want to proceed. Yep, got no chance of warranty on this bike. Continue, remove the headlight fuse and connect your battery charger. Right, I'll plug my charger into my battery. I actually fitted this Anderson plug to the battery so I don't have to keep taking this off because I'm flashing the ECU quite a lot. There's a video about how I did that. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. We've connected a battery charger on this. You can actually remove the fuse for the light so it don't come on, but it's very tedious. The best thing to do is just put a battery charger on it. And then hit OK. Incorrect values can damage the engine. Confirm to reprogram the ECU. I'm aware of this, so I hit OK. And now it's going to start a reprogramming process. So my bike, it only takes four minutes to flash. I think other, a lot of other bikes take a lot longer. It tells you how long you've got left there. So I'm going to pause this now and then we'll come back. Right, 100% updating data. Reprogramming done. So hit OK, turn the ignition off, disconnect the battery charger, replace the fuse, then turn the ignition on and start the motor. OK, cool. What I like to do is I normally like to leave the ignition on off for at least 10 seconds. I don't know if it makes a difference on Triumphs, but I know when I used to flash Volkswagen ECUs, they used to like to be have the ignition turned off for a while. And then that's it. Job done, easy. You don't have to do a 12 minute tune. The, the bike learns all its values it needs to while you're riding. I just generally get on it and ride it. And it all settles down after a little while. So, pretty simple really. That's how you flash an aftermarket map onto your ECU. 
So I've just flashed that map onto my ECU for demonstration purposes and realized I had the Lambda probes turned off and I've got mine disconnected. So now I've got to flash it again to turn off my oxygen sensors. But there's gonna be a video about how you do all that sort of thing as well, if that's the sort of thing you need to do. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. And of course, comment and have a great day.